Rangers hosting the Yankees. The Yankees are minus 116 on the money line. The Rangers are minus 102. The over under eight and a half runs. The Yankees laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 140, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Rangers getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. Stroman pitched once against the Rangers. Five innings, one run, one earned. They won eight, seven. He struck out one. That was this year. Avaldi pitched once against the Yankees this year. Three innings, three runs, three earned. They lost eight, nothing in New York, and he struck out four. Head to head, they are five and five against each other. The home team is seven and three. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. The over has hit in their last four games against each other. And one, two, three, four. The over is six and four in their last ten. The over-under at eight and a half runs is five and five, and there have been two one-run games in their last ten, and the Rangers came back and won today. The Yankees are three and two in Stroman's last five starts. They've won his last two. Five innings pitched, six hits, 2.6 earned runs, 3.8 strikeouts, 1.8 walks, no home runs, 87 pitches per game, 17.9 pitches per inning. For the Rangers, they've won of all these last two starts. Two and three in his last five, five and a third innings pitched, 5.4 hits, three runs, 2.8 of which were earned, 6.4 strikeouts, 1.2 walks, 0.6 home runs, 97 pitches, 18.6 pitches per inning. The Yankees are one and three in their last four, 11 runs, 20 run run, 21 runs, 12 runs, and then 11 runs, five runs at a loss, seven runs at a loss, eight runs at a win, and then four runs at a loss today. And the Rangers, three and one in their last four. Five runs, 10 runs, 12 runs, 11 runs. Three runs in a win, six runs in a win, four runs in a loss, and then seven runs in a win. I am going to go with the home underdog here. I'm going to take the Rangers with the money line, the Rangers laying the runs, and I will go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.